Lesson 2.3a, Modeling and Solving Two-Step Inequalities. We can solve two-step inequalities by using algebra tiles, and the method is similar to the one we used in Lesson 6.3a to solve two-step equations, and that's linked in the description if you need to see that. You can check the Joanne School YouTube community post or Facebook post for algebra tiles to copy, paste, print. We can also draw them quickly. Remember, we must perform the same operation on both sides of the inequality symbol for any of the four properties of inequality to apply. The addition property, the subtraction property, the multiplication property, and the division property of inequality. For our algebra tiles, this big rectangle represents a positive variable and this one represents a negative variable. The little square plus represents a positive constant, and the little square minus represents a negative constant. Remember, a variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown value, and a constant is a value that does not change. We can use algebra tiles to model 2D minus 1 is greater than or equal to 7. The 2 is our coefficient, the d is our variable, this minus 1 is our constant, we have our inequality symbol greater than or equal to, and we have a 7. For the 2d, we have two variable rectangles. I know they say x on them, but we're going to have them represent d, and we have two of them. That's our coefficient telling us that we have two of them. We're going to minus 1, so that's our constant. We have a minus square here, and it's greater than or equal to 7, so we have a positive 7. We have 7 little plus squares, and we have our symbol here. We place the algebra tiles on the mat to model the inequality. We have two positive variable tiles and a negative constant tile, and we have 7 positive tiles. The inequality symbol is placed between each side. For step two, we eliminate this minus one tile from the left side. We use the addition property of inequality by adding a plus tile to each side of the mat. Now, step three, we remove this zero pair from the left side. Remember, a zero pair is when we have a minus 1 and a plus 1. They cancel each other out because they equal 0. So now we have 2d is greater than or equal to 8. For step 4, since the coefficient of the variable is a positive 2, we divide each side of the mat by 2. We make two equal groups of tiles that consist of tiles from each side. Step 5 is the solution of the quantity of tiles in one group on the right side. Right here, we have four positive ones. We know that D is greater than or equal to 4. We can check to see if D is greater than or equal to 4 is a reasonable solution by substituting the 4 for D in the original inequality. Instead of 2d, we have 2 times 4. That's 8. Now we subtract 1, we get a 7. 7 is greater than or equal to 7? Yeah, it's equal to 7. So that's true. Now, since the coefficient of d is a positive number, it was a positive 2, we don't reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. Do you remember in the previous videos, we said if this was a negative, then down here, we would have had to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol, but it's positive, so we don't have to do that. Here we have the inequality 3x plus 3 is greater than 6. We have 3x tiles. We have 3 plus tiles for the constant positive 3. We have our is greater than symbol in the center here, and we have 6 plus tiles for our positive 6. We use the subtraction property of inequality to subtract 3 from each side. So, 
Since we have plus 3, we make squares for minus, minus, and minus on each side. So now we need some 3 minus ones on this side. And we make 0 pairs. We have plus 1 minus 1. This is eliminated. We have another plus 1 minus 1. We eliminate that one. There's 0 pairs and a plus 1 minus 1. That eliminates that one as a 0. Here we have plus 1 minus 1, so that's eliminated. Here we have plus 1 minus 1. That one's eliminated. And plus 1 minus 1. That one's eliminated. So now all we're left with is 3x is greater than 3. We're left with 3x is greater than 3. Now, because we have a positive 3 here, we divide each side by 3 by making 3 equal groups. We have 1, 2, let's ignore the sign in the middle for now, and 3. We have three equal groups. They have the same tiles in them. We have a rectangle and a square, a rectangle and a square, a rectangle and a square. Three equal groups. The solution is in one group on the right side. We know that x is greater, we have the greater than symbol here, it's greater than 1 for 3x plus 3 to be greater than 6. If we have 3 times 1, that's 3, plus 3 more is 6, well, it can't be 1. If this is a 1, it'll be equal to 6. So this is going to have to be greater than 1. This x has got to be greater than 1 in order for the left side to be greater than the right side. Our solution is x is greater than 1. We have no idea how much greater, we just know that it's greater than 1. We finished the first part of 7.3. We're going to move on to the second part, solving and interpreting solutions of two-step inequalities. Remember, because we're dealing with inequalities, the solution will not have an equal sign. It might have a greater than or less than or equal to sign but it won't have just an equal sign. That's for equations. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.